Okay, let's get started then. Good morning everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Neil and I'm a BIM consultant and catalyst and today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of BIM 360 team. It shouldn't last more than about 15 minutes and then we'll take some questions at the end. If you don't have any questions, please use the function on the webinar screen and type them in and I'll try and answer them um, towards the end. I will be giving you my email address, so don't worry if you don't get around to answering or asking the questions. Um, you'll be able to drop me an email and we'll be able to have a chat after the webinar. So, what is the problem we are trying to solve? Currently, within a project, you may be using multiple ways to communicate and share your data across your team. You may be using email, SharePoint, network drives, and basic cloud storage. With cloud-based collaboration and file sharing, it provides tools that give you any time, anywhere access to digital documents, both in the office and in the field. PDF creation and editing software are utilized for markups, edits, merging, splitting of files. Field-based mobile apps reduce the time spent getting inputs from the field shared with the larger project team. Individually, each tool is great for its purpose, but when combining them together, issues can arise. Many of the apps in use were not specifically designed for the use within construction and are adopted to try and satisfy needs, but this creates a series of problems. The issues that we faced before some of these tools became available still exist, and in some cases get worse due to the expansive locations available, so tracking information becomes difficult. I've often seen maps that have been created to direct people between different applications in a bid to try and keep track of what's going on. Frustration for me is that we work so hard to ensure that the data is accurate, that models are produced to a high standard, and when it comes to ensuring the right people have the right information at the right time, it can fall down. A centralized place for design data and team collaboration can reduce these issues. And this is what BIM 360 team aims to address. A simple to use, easy to access, cloud-based collaboration and data management solution for your company's day-to-day -day needs in construction. With one location to publish, share, view, and create markups, it is far easier to keep track of what's going on. You can access BIM360 team on the web, Android, or iOS, so if you're on site with a client, you can still gain access to your design documents and communicate with your team. BIM360 team can read over 50 different file formats, so you are not confined to just Autodesk files when working with BIM360 team. The viewer in BIM360 team allows you to view 2D and 3D files with ease on whichever device you choose. You can choose to look at the sheets or at the model itself. So when you upload, say, a Revit file, it will automatically split these off so you can view them independently. There are additional features, such as the section tool, which allows you to create a live 3D section at any axis. So you can really interrogate the model from whichever angle you want. There are some other features as well, for example, the explode tool allows you to further open up the model. This allows you to really interrogate the model without opening other software such as Revit or Navisworks, which you may not even have access to at that particular time. You can also search for particular objects and use the isolate function. You can also display the parameter values, which you would normally see in something like Revit, so you can check that the data is present and correct. <clears throat> There's also the ability to share files, which can be done through different ways. You can send a link of the entire viewer, where the other person will be able to view the file just like you did. Here you can copy the link, email, or embed the viewer. You can also send a message with the link, set a password, 
and importantly you can choose to control if the other person has the ability to download that file. The viewer can also be shared with people who don't have an Autodesk account. There are limits to some of these tools, but it's still a very good viewing platform. They also have the option to download if you choose to let them, and so they can download the file, work on it, and then once the work has been done, they can upload the new version to where BIM 360 Team Version Control will manage that file. Commenting and creating markups is an essential part of a design workflow. And with BIM 360 Team, the process is made very easy. Your entire design team can have access to the project, which allows you to communicate with them quickly. You can see there on the right hand side, I've got the different markups and some of the team comments that are in there. Once a comment or markup has been made, others will receive notifications of what has happened and will be able to react. They may be on site and maybe have an issue that needs a decision quickly. Also, these comments and markups can be controlled through the various versions of the file. So you can roll back and check what has or hasn't been done. The live review tool is a really good addition. You can invite multiple people to view the model and they see what you see in real time. To start the process, it is really simple. All it does require is sending a link. Once that person receives the link, they'll be able to open it up and see pretty much your screen. You can live comment within this process as well, which is especially handy, especially if you're in different locations. Again, maybe on site or back in the office. It's a really effective way of progressing a design. You may be using this process in-house or with your clients. All your clients will need to do is, like I said, just open up that link. So reviewing a model does not have to be this orchestrated event with meeting rooms and projectors. With BIM 360 team, you can review quickly and easily several times a day. Every time you upload a new version of a file, BIM 360 team will log this, so you can keep track of project information. You can cycle through each of the versions and track communication from within that version as well. Once multiple versions have been created, you can then compare them as well. So you can compare things that have been added, removed, removed, or modified. So you can see here there's three different versions. I compare those against each other. So you can see there that one thing has been added, another thing has been removed, and 61 things have been modified. You can also filter this by discipline as well. So you can look architectural, structural, MEP, and with a particular component as well, you can flip between the different versions, again, to check what has or hasn't been done. So where does BIM 360 team sit in the design process? When working within a BIM workflow, BIM 360 team will allow you to work collaboratively on a day-to-day -day basis from tender to handover. This could be by department, discipline, or practice. When ready, you can then choose to publish your data to a common data environment, or a more established common data environment, such as BIM 360 Docs, for other members of the project to view and use. So really, it's for your everyday working within your team. So what are the costs? We've got a single user at £90 a year, a 25 user pack is at £1,355 a year, and a 100 user pack is at £3,615 a year. And you can see what that works out to pence per day per user. 
For this, you'll get 500 gigabytes of cloud storage. You'll get unlimited projects, so you can set up as many projects as you want, and you will get basic support from Autodesk. There will be advanced support to follow up. I'm not too sure on that date, but it is in the process. Currently, at the moment, there is a promotion on until the 21st of July. And for a single user, you can now get a seat for £45 a year. This is based on a five-seat purchase, minimum five-seat purchase. So that brings you down then working out at £12 a day per person. So this makes the, at the moment, until the 21st of July, this makes the 25-pack redundant. And I think this would, if you do the maths, it would work up to about 80 seats, I think, um, before it would be more effective to take on the 100 user pack. So you can start your free trial. You can see the link that's down there at the bottom. So if you wanted to, to type that in, I'm sure you could just do a Google search or BIM 360 team free trial, you'll get a 30 day free trial to where you can test out all of the different features and see if it works for you. And if you did decide to proceed and go for a paid account, then don't worry about your data being lost because I'm sure we could sort out and make sure that Autodesk would transfer that data onto your paid account. So let's see if we've got any questions in? No. Okay, so if you do have any questions, then what you could do is just drop me an email. You can see my email address on the screen there. Um, if you don't have any other questions, then you can also call into Cat Assist and we'll do our best to help you out. hope this has been informative and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much.